Hello, Carolyn Herforth with thebiztruth.com. You see that one of your favorite clients is on your schedule for an appointment tomorrow morning and you're excited because he's the one who always does what he says. He's making incredible progress and it's just plain old fun to work with, just very eager. And then you see that pain in the ass client on your schedule for the afternoon and your heart just drops. It's like, ugh. This is the one who complains about everyone and everything is standing in the way of success. It's like wah, wah, wah. The first appointment feels like a gift that you get to open up on Christmas morning. You look forward to the second one about as much as you look forward to a colonoscopy, which is probably not so much. Here's my advice. If you feel like you're scheduled for more colonoscopies than Christmases, get out a piece of paper. Write a list of all of your colonoscopy clients, name by name, and write down the characteristics of what makes them not ideal for you. Doesn't mean they're bad people, just not ideal for you. And then write a list of your Christmas clients and write down the characteristics that make them so lovable that you love about working with them. And then quit taking the colonoscopy clients so that you can make room for more Christmas clients. Yep, you might take a dip in revenue for a while during that transition, but what you'll find is when you're turning the colonoscopy clients away, more Christmas clients will start coming your way. And by the way, the colonoscopy clients are not gonna be great referral or referenceable clients for you. And isn't that what you want? You wanna work with clients who you really can make an impact with and who are referring other clients to you. So you wanna welcome in more of the Christmas clients because they'll also be great referenceable clients for you. You'll be able to make the impact that you really want and you'll get more clients as a result so you can make more change. So remember, Christmas, not colonoscopy clients entrepreneur.